Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Today, I'm really excited. We are going to do the winter subscription box of FabFitFun. This is the second time I've received this box. I did get it for the fall and I got a really good deal on the fall box. I think I paid $29 for it. And then this was the first box that I paid full price for. I did like the stuff that I got in my fall box. Um, there was a couple things that I was like a little bit about but I think overall it's well worth what you're going to pay for it and because I was subscribed much earlier this time I got to pick out my um, like customization options much earlier and so mo more of the, the items that they had available to pick out were still available when I chose so I did get some really cool things that I do remember picking out for myself so without further ado uh, we're gonna jump into it I think I paid $53 for it after tax and everything so um, and you're supposed to get, I think, at least eight full-size products. And last last month, I know it was well worth the money. So um, I'm hoping that this month is the same thing. So yeah, without any further ado, let's jump in. First thing, I really do like their boxes. I just like, every time I get them on the porch, I'm just like, it's so cute. So I really like their boxing and their uh, packaging. I think that's a very nice thing that they do. If I can open it up without stabbing myself, that's going to be the real test of the night. Got it. All right. Fingers and toes still intact. Go team. Okay. We are open, first part of success. They do always include like a little FabFitFun uh, magazine as well. Last month, Megan Trainer was on the cover and this one is Maria Shriver. So, um, and I think it just kind of talks about like seasonal stuff. And then I think it talks about some of the products and things as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, I know last month they also included a HelloFresh gift card in that. And then they gave us a coupon for FabFitFun maybe, I don't know. But uh, once again, they just kind of throw a whole bunch of cards and books at you at the beginning and I just kind of like look at them and then go, I don't know what that is and move along. So that's what we're doing today too. So just upon initial inspection, I did see from getting emails from seeing, they're really good about like having a very heavy social media presence, which is of course how I found out about them. That being said, I've seen a lot of like the possibilities of what we can get and I already recognize that I've gotten a couple things that I was hoping I was gonna get. So that's really exciting. Um, I do wanna start off with, I know for a fact, First thing I picked out for um, my customization was these here slippers because they're fur lined and they're super cute. They're like a nice little cable knit sweater with some fur on the inside. And I'm a big um, slipper person because my feet are always cold because I'm just a cold person. Actually, uh, these are my current slippers. I love them as well, but uh, they're getting a little janky. I've had them now for like a year and a half and uh, my mom, I think, paid like $5 for them and bought them for herself and then didn't want to wear them because she needs like nice insoles and they don't have those because they were $5. So um, I really like them, but uh, like I said, they're getting a little janky. So I did decide to get these and I'm really excited to uh, to test these out and see how I like these guys. So I did get some slippers for the life of me cannot remember what the other customization option was. Maybe I'll remember it as I start pulling things out. Okay, so um, the camera did cut off and while I had a minute, I kind of like snuck a peek at what's in here and it's looking like this is actually 90% makeup based in this box or beauty base, which was one of my biggest complaints last month. We got like a salt and pepper grinder and a cutting board. I mean, nice stuff, but it was just stuff that I really felt like, like with this extensive test I took for my personality and what I was looking for, it didn't really fit. So I'm guessing maybe that was because I did sign up late and I was kind of getting like what was left over. So I'm very excited. So more ramblings, but uh, we're jumping, we're jumping back in. We're going back in. I believe this was the other thing that I picked out. I was really trying to go in and figure out which, which was the last, the other thing that I got to customize. I don't, I can't promise for a fact, but I think it is the soft focus glow drops from Rodial. Maybe this is what I got, maybe not, but this is really cool no matter what. So these are soft focus glow drops. It is an illuminating glow primer and it is a great size. I mean, everything in this box is going to be full size, obviously, but I've never heard of the brand, so I don't know if it's great or not, but I do love like glow based primers, especially in the winter time because you just get a lot less sun and there's a lot more of that whole like, you know, vampiric gaunt, sickly influenza child aesthetic going on, especially for me who's already a pale person anyway, like dead of summer, I'm still pretty white. So um, so these definitely help during this time when I'm definitely not getting outside because it's cold and I hate the cold. So I'm really excited to test these out. And like I said, it's a really nice bottle, a nice like one of those thick glass bottles and it's um, a good size too, so. So yeah, so that is the uh, Soft Focus Glow Drops. 
And I am. Oh, no, that is not what I picked out. This is what I picked out. This is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Condition and Restore uh, Moisture Cream, which I like Kate Somerville a lot. I have used a couple of her cleansers. I think she has a goat milk cleanser that I've used as well. Um, most of the stuff that I've gotten from her is coming in like my BoxyCharm, or I think I've gotten a couple really decent sized samples from like Ulta with one of their free gifts and stuff like that. So I'm actually a big fan of her product because of the different subscription boxes that I've received them in. But um, this is the goat milk, the, um, I was gonna say cleanser. It's not a cleanser, what is it? It is a uh, moisturizer. That is the word that I was looking for that I had to read because I forgot it. Very neutral, almost like milky, sweet looking. Um, kind of looks like a little can of condensed milk if I'm being 100% honest. So, um, but I'm very excited to try that out. Like I said uh, in one of my past videos, not too long ago, I I just get the worst skin during the winter. It doesn't matter how cold it is. As soon as it starts getting like slightly colder, my skin starts to, to break and to bleed. So my knuckles and my hands get really bad and my face gets really bad too. So anything that can kind of help combat that is also a big, um, a big, uh, thumbs up from me. So hopefully this will be a nice little thing for that as well. The next thing we got is I did, I read this while the camera was off. This is the Prep Rally Prime and Prep Detangler from Dry Bar. Once again, great size. I really like Dry Bar and um, my hair is really tangly all the time, like no matter what I do. And uh, I recently have heard that apparently conditioning your hair too much causes dandruff more. And I have dandruff and now that my hair is dark and not blonde, you can see it a lot more. So I've decided I'm just gonna like condition my hair only once a week, maybe less if I can. So this will be a good thing for when I'm trying to rip through my head and I haven't used conditioner in four or five days. I can just spritz a little bit of this in and hopefully it will help uh, me not cry and bleed from the scalp. So yay. Moving on. Um, oh my God. I did not know about this, but I'm really freaking excited because you guys know that I'm like, I'm a little bit of a, a thought for the Epsom salts. So this is from I, I don't know if I can pronounce this. Cuccio? Cuccio? I don't know. No. Somatology. I don't, I can't read it all. And it's yoga. Calm and clean Epsom salt hand and body wash with lavender oil. I love it. I love everything about it. I'm just very excited for this. It's Epsom salt body wash and it's, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. I've never heard of the brand, but I love this and um, I have high hopes for it because I love my Epsom salts and I, I always will, so go Epsom salts. Oh my gosh, is this, I think this is one of those rags where you can wash your makeup off. Is, <gasps> okay, I'm really excited for this too. Uh, this is the original pink makeup eraser and you erase all of your makeup with just water. So basically it is effectively a reusable, sustainable makeup wipe that doesn't have any product on it or anything. It's, it's more or less a polishing cloth for your face. But I have seen so many people use these and they're just like, they're so cool, they work so well. And I was like, I wonder if that's real or if it's a scam, but now I get to try it. And it really, it looks like a giant like Swiffer for your face. Yeah, I have, I have really high hopes for this as well. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Last month's box, I was kinda like, I'm glad I got it for $29 because I had paid full price for it. I'm not sure I would've liked it as much. And then I showed my mom all this stuff and she's like, I know it's not like makeup stuff and what you really were hoping for, but it's still well worth what you paid. And I did agree with that. This box, I don't feel like that at all. This box, I was kinda worried because I was like, well, this is like a $50 box. I'm really happy with everything. I, there's, I've not opened a product yet where I've been like, I don't really like that. So really excited about this one. Really excited about this one. I still have two more products left too. And one of them is the one that I was really excited about. So um, the next thing we have here is this is a color switch instant brush cleaner. You guys have seen me do a lot of tutorials and at the beginning of the tutorial, I'll be like, I didn't wash my makeup brushes, sorry, sue me. Um, because I hate washing my makeup brushes. I actually washed all of them on Saturday. It literally took like an hour for me just to scrub them all. And then it took a day for them to dry because they were just like sitting out on my counter. So I really like washing my makeup brushes is just one of those things that is really, really painful for me for whatever reason. And this, I think the idea behind this is basically, it's like a little, uh, 
I don't want to call it steel wool because I don't think it's steel wool, but it's like the brush equivalent of steel wool and you don't need like cleanser or anything. You just rub your brush back and forth against it and put a little bit of water in it and it's supposed to clean your brush off. So I love the idea of this. I will definitely be testing it out because I'm always looking for more effective ways to clean my brushes that cause me a little less anger and strife because right now I just basically soak them in Dawn and Eco Tool brush cleaner for like 20 minutes and then I scrub each one of them and then I scrub each one of them again and then I scrub it one more time because there's still pigment in it no matter how many times I scrub them. So hopefully this kind of alleviates a little bit of that headache. Um, but I'm excited to test that out as well. The last thing we got is this really cute, the proof is in the pudding eyeshadow palette and it's a banana pudding eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bakery. That is what the little like little sleeve looks like and this is what the palette itself looks like and from what i've seen it's just just really pretty like neutral fall colors if i'm gonna be overly critical i mean they're not anything groundbreaking it's not like it's colors that i don't have in my collection but because they are so use like versatile neutral and useful i'm very excited to get this you guys know i am once again a sucker for palettes anything with a palette is I'm just all for it. I don't know why. I think it's something psychologically. I'm just like, look, I have a whole little collection of makeup all in one and I love it. So I had seen this and I was like, I really hope I get this. Y'all, this box was definitely worth it for me. Um, $50 for a subscription is a lot of money. In my opinion, that being said, this is a seasonal subscription. So you're only getting it four times a year. You're only getting it charged for it every three months. So really when you put it in perspective that way, then you're looking at more like if you're looking at monthly subscription boxes, it's more along the lines of per month, you're paying, you know, whatever, 150, you're paying like 15, $18 a month for this box. Really not unreasonable when you think about it. I'm thrilled with what I got. There were other variations of things that I saw that I think would be cool, but honestly, there's nothing that I'd be like, oh, I wish I didn't get this or anything. I love the slippers. I got a ton of makeup stuff. I mean, I got a moisturizer. I got a body wash, a, a primer, hair detangler, a palette, a makeup remover for myself, a brush cleanser, and then um, something else I feel like that I'm forgetting, but whatever. It's just, it's a lot of stuff, y'all, for like 53 bucks or whatever. And, and this is once again... Sorry, I was making sure I didn't forget anything because once again, I have ADD. For the price, I think it's... Um, I think it was well worth it. So yeah, I'm excited because I really wasn't sure if I was going to like this box or if I was going to hate it. Thanks FabFitFun. I'm uh, very excited to be a little part of your family now because I'm liking your stuff. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps the page out. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We've got a lot of really cool content coming at you. We filmed finally the first part of our Black Friday haul and that hopefully will be going up soon. Um, and then I've just got a lot to share with you guys with the big, the boxy charm and the Ipsy unboxings we'll be doing this month as well. I have to fill you guys in on what happened with that whole Black Friday Ipsy bag sitch because um, everybody really liked that video, which is awesome for us, but it, it really annoyed me. Um, not that you guys like the video. Please keep liking the video. I love that. Um, no, what, what Ipsy did basically. So I do want to give a little bit of a story time about that at some point. So that'll be coming up. And if you want to see it, then go check out the Ipsy video so you know the context of it. And then um, definitely subscribe so you see when we post our next videos. I hope you guys are having a wonderful night. And as always, stay girly with a dark twist.